And then there were four, Baylor and Houston, Gonzaga and UCLA, each fighting for their right to cut down the nets April 5th. And to chat all about the odds for each team, I want to welcome in Kenny White from Sportsline. How's it going, Kenny? I'm doing great, Katie. I'm just thinking about the four teams that you mentioned. Nobody really in the Southeast or the East this year. It's dominated by Texas and the West Coast. And let's start with the opener here. We have Baylor meeting Houston in the final four, two Texas teams. What are the odds for each of these teams in the finals. Yeah, how about that? A Texas battle, a rivalry game, a Waco versus Houston, basically. Uh, the Baylor Bears are plus 280 to win it all. Uh, and Houston plus 850 to win it all to win two games. So the winner of this obviously is going to have to beat Gonzaga in the championship game. will be a big underdog there. But this should be an outstanding battle. Both teams got great offenses. Both teams have great defenses. And said, being a Texas rivalry game, wow, uh, it's going to be a fun one to watch. And are there any interesting betting angles or trends that you're seeing for this Texas rivalry? The Big 12 hasn't done well in the final fours of late. The last five times they've been there, they're one in four ATS. So that may lend uh, to taking the points with Houston in this one and being a close game. And then let's go on to the nightcap, Zag versus UCLA. The Bulldogs are the one seed overall, very dominating force in this tournament. But the Bruins are making a convincing argument for their chances. So what do the odds makers think here? Yeah, there's a big favorite here. Uh, the Gonzaga 14 point favorite in this game. Uh, the Zags are the favorite to win it all minus 220. Uh, to win the championship. They're minus $11 to just win the game against UCLA. If you like the Bruins, they're the long shot to win it all. Obviously, 20 to 1 right now. This is a team that lost their last three regular season games and lost their only Pac-12 conference uh, tournament games. They, they lost four in a row, and they were down five points late in the game to Michigan State in a play-in. Sent it to overtime, won the game, and here they are in the final four. They are the real Cinderella story. And are there any interesting betting angles or trends that you're seeing for this game? Favorites of four greater that scored 80 or more points in the Elite Eight, that would be Gonzaga, they scored 85, are just 2-10 and 10 ATS in this round. And then teams that hold their opponent or, or, or scored 65 or less uh, in the Elite Eight are 8 two and one ATS. So teams that score low in the lead eight and get in do well. Teams that score a lot of points in the lead eight and go to the final four, they don't do as well covering the point spread. So I like UCLA plus 14. This is it. This is it. This is the, like the game of the year for UCLA. And I, they have nothing to lose. They're playing with house money here. Uh, Gonzaga, I think has all the pressure on them to win this basketball game. So I think UCLA can keep it close. All right, Kenny, thank you so much. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. Yeah, you got it, Katie. My pleasure and good luck. I uh, hope everyone enjoys the game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, I will say I still have, I still have two teams that are in my bracket that are playing to win it all. So we'll see how all this shakes out over the weekend. And you can read even more sports betting news surrounding the Final Four over on Sportsline. Tip-off for the Houston Cougars and the Baylor Bears is set for 5.14 p.m. Eastern. That game's on CBS. And then immediately after, we'll watch the Gonzaga Bulldogs and UCLA Bruins again on CBS. I'm Katie Johnston for CBS Local Sports.